A bateau or bateau is a shallow draft, flat-bottomed boat which was used extensively across North America, especially in the colonial period and in the fur trade. It was traditionally pointed at both ends but came in a wide variety of sizes. The name derives from the French word, bateau, which is simply the word for boat in the plural, bateau, follows the French an unusual construction for an English plural. In the southern United States, the term is still used to refer to flat-bottomed boats, including those elsewhere called John boats. Construction Bateaux were flat-bottomed and double-ended. They were built with heavy stems at bow and stern and a series of frames amidships, likely from natural oak crooks when available, and planked with sawn boards, likely pined although builders would have used whatever material was available. These boats would have varied from place to place, from builder to builder and also evolved over time, however in general, they were 24 feet to 50 feet long and 5 feet to 8 feet wide. The bottoms were planked and flat, without a keel, but possibly with a larger keel plank in the center and sometimes reinforced with cross cleats. The sides were planked, tapering to sharp at either end. History The French explorers of North America used bateaux as well as the native canoes and cartels. The boat's shallow draft worked well in rivers while its flat bottom profile allowed heavy loading of cargoes and provided stability. The smallest bateau required only one crewman, while larger ones required up to five and reach up to 45 to 58 feet in length. The largest bateau could carry two to ten tons of cargo. Bateau could mount a small sail although the flat bottom was not optimal for sailing. In military records, it is seen that the boats were propelled primarily by oars with one oar being used at the stern as a rudder. If Louisiana in 1763 it was described, beyond the mouth of the Missouri River the bateau of no prying New Orleans trader had ever penetrated, the same author wrote of the Roanoke Valley, Virginia. One may make a pleasant voyage on the New River from this point to Eggleston Springs, 25 miles further down the current, taking one of the many bateaux which ply constantly on the stream, and simply drifting on the lazy wave until the destination is reached. In the same book the spelling is given as bateau. Along the Greenbrier and New Rivers adventurous boatmen ply in bateau carrying merchandise or travelers who wish to explore the wonders of the New River Canon. Our artists, who made the tour of the New River Canon in a bateau, found it an exciting experience. At the junction of the Greenbrier and New Rivers they engaged one of the boats used in running the rapids. This boat was 60 feet long by 6 wide, and was managed by three Negroes, the steersmen who guided the boat with a long and powerful oar, the headsman, who stood on the boat to direct the steersman by waving his arms, and an extra hand, who assisted with an oar in the eddies and smooth parts of the river, King. 679 Many types of bateau were deployed by the colonial French and British militaries, with the largest capable of mounting small cannon or swivel guns. In the wilderness with many rivers but few bridges, bateaux were sometimes constructed, used, then purposely sunk to prevent the enemy from discovering them and using them to raid behind the passing army. Alternately, utilizing the stability of their flat bottoms, bateaux could be strung together to form pontoon bridges, which are, therefore, sometimes known as bateau bridges. Some British military bateau of the French and Indian War could haul 20 men or 12 barrels of supplies with a smaller crew. In the Revolutionary War, an extant plan of the British Admiralty calls for bateau of 30 foot 4 inches in length, with a 6 feet 6 inches beam and a depth of 2 feet 10 inches. Specific designs were developed to suit local conditions. Bateau were used as freight boats on canals in the northern U.S until replaced by the larger canal boats in the early 1800s. James River bateau were large craft designed for hauling tobacco on Virginia's large rivers, while Mohawk River bateau were smaller and a very shallow draft. Most of the inland navigations in the southern United States, penetrating the Piedmont by way of the river valleys, were for bateau. 
Bato were a very important part of the American culture. The town of Ronkevita, West Virginia, commemorates the logging and Bato industry with an annual outdoor theater, Riders of the Flood, where the spring rain sent harvested timbers down the Greenbrier River for the sawmills. An arc is used in the play, a scaled-down model of the original craft that accompanied the Bato Down River for the spring floods. West Virginia author W. E. Blackhurst used bateau in his books of Pocahontas County and the Greenbrier River. These boats figure in the logging era book Riders of the Flood, on which the play of the same name is based. This bateau was primarily for logging, meant to maneuver quickly and withstand dangerous river conditions and is built differently from the new river bateau at the confluence of the Greenbrier River. Spelling Proper spelling remains a problem with researches. Dr. William E. Trout III, a member of the Virginia Canals and Navigation Society who has written about the bateau, explained the issue thus. We use the spelling bateau because we consider that to be the correct spelling for our kind of boat, the James River bateau. Invented by the Rucker brothers in 1771 and later patented, this is the way it was spelled during the Bateau era, even in the Virginia state laws. Evidently after Bateau were forgotten and the word was not used anymore, this spelling was forgotten and reverted to the French spelling for that general type of boat. We have a lot of trouble with editors who don't want to know that the correct spelling for our type of boat was Bateau, just because current dictionaries don't have it. Some regional dictionaries do say that bateau was the usual American spelling during the 19th century. The plural is bateau. Since 1985 replicas of James River bateau have descended the James every year during the week-long James River bateau festival, and have explored other rivers in and around Virginia.